makes you an apprentice to the pastor. Makes you what? An apprentice to the pastor. You are an apprentice by this scripture. And you know exactly what an apprentice will do with his or her boss or mistress in the natural life. If you want to learn how to drive, you are an apprentice to the one who will teach you how to drive and train you how to drive. If he gives you classes, do you miss them? Talk to me. Talk to me. You want to learn fashion design. And your mistress or master gives you days of coming to his or her shop to train you, to equip you with the skill of fashion design. Will you skip those classes? Talk to me. If you do, will you ever be trained? So, the pastor is like your trainer. You are an apprentice. And that's why in every local assembly or every kingdom community center where saints meet, there is always days of meetings. Days of what? Meetings. The purpose of the days of meeting are the same with the purpose for the days of your training with your uncle or madam who is teaching you how to do fashion or teaching you how to drive. They have the same purpose. The purpose is to make sure that you master what you came in to learn. At the end of two years or three years or four years, depending on your master, you now have the skill of doing exactly what your master can do. That's the essence for a trainer and a student or a disciple or an apprentice. The word disciple means an apprentice. The word disciple means a student. But the Christian church has or has a challenge. The challenge is the ones to be trained, they don't come for the classes set up for them. And they believe they are right to stay away from those classes. And some of them also believe that staying away from the classes doesn't stop them from learning the skill. In the, in, the, in, the, in the case of the church, it's a spiritual skill, which is knowing Christ more and living as Christ. Amen. 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 I don't know how you want to learn fashion skills. And you don't go for the classes your master or mistress set up for you. And yet, you claim that by yourself. You will master it. You say, well, I will learn by myself. There's no way you can learn fashion by yourself except you learn from someone who already learned it and cannot do it well. You can never learn it by yourself. Never. And I say, Pastor, I don't want to go to that my mistress or master's shop. I will learn it through YouTube. Somebody on YouTube is the one that will be teaching now. I hope somebody's getting me. Talk to me. Yes, sir. Are you talking to me? Yes, sir. But you know something? The one on YouTube, if you are going to follow that one on YouTube to learn that skill, the amount you will spend and the time too you will waste to learn it will be much more. Compared to one who sits you live and direct and is putting you through. Because if it is you too, you are going to buy a lot of envy. Buy a lot of what? Envy. You will spend much more. That's if you have the patience to remove stay with the YouTube until you finish learning it. And one thing about self-learning is that distractions can easily come in. Talk to me. Yes. Yes, yes. Distractions easily will come. You will see reasons why you should leave that YouTube learning for a time. 
and still focus on some things. But when you are under a master or a mistress who is putting you through, and you are ready to obey that master and mistress, distractions will be solved because discipline will be natural. Something happened with me. You see, we, we got this keyboard, and I said, I want to learn. And I paid, sorry, please, I asked him to teach me, and I told him I'll pay him later, during the month. Are you there? I wanted to pay before we start. Later, I told him, let's start, and I'll pay him during the, the learning. I got to a point after one week, I called myself, don't come again. Let me learn some things myself first, before I bring you back. Are you following? Are they here? Do you know something? Since the time I said I want to learn some things before I bring you, the learning has been anyhow. It's been anyhow. That's to be factual. For about almost two weeks, I've not played with the piano enough. It was yesterday. After a long while, I sat on it again. I was not thinking yesterday. I said, if I was under that man, are you following? I would have improved better. But as I'm trying to play, somebody calls me on the phone. And to me, I want to pray for the person. I want to do something that is also serious and important. Somebody here? Yes, sir. And then with me. Yes, sir. So I leave the piano. I go to that. If I'm under somebody training me, that can come up. I won't be that one. Because he or she will not allow me to do that in his class or her class. Talk to me. Yes, sir. Talk to me. That's why God established training you using others to train you. God established himself. He says here in Ephesians 4, 11, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the equipment of the saints. God didn't say the saints should equip themselves by themselves. This is one of the biggest lies the devil tells seven Christians. That is it by church? Is it by church? By myself, I can equip myself. I have Holy Spirit in me. The biggest lie demons feed the minds of Christians with. Because apprenticeship, what do I call it? Apprenticeship. Means accountability. Means what? Means what? And Christians hate to be accountable. Christians hate to be under someone who tells them what to do, when to do it, how to do it, where to do it, with whom to do it. Christians hate it. They believe in what they call freedom without law. Freedom without what? Law. That's anarchy. If you have freedom.